Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. What a soggy stretch we've been enduring here across the valley. In fact, our average rainfall, just over three and a half inches. We've gotten that in the last three days, just about three and a quarter of an inch out of Harrisburg International. That's 91% of average here for the month in just 72 hours. We are looking drier today. Do still have some river flood warnings out there. Some good news though, Newport Borough has dropped their uh, flood emergency. What Ann was talking about just a little bit earlier on at the start of our show, but we still have flood warnings on the Swatera as well as the Conda de Gwinnett through tonight or tomorrow, depending on where you are along the river. So just keep tabs on that if you are traveling around those creeks. In terms of our set up now, still have some showers out there. The Storm Team Live Radar Network pinpointing a few across Lancaster County back toward the capital into some of uh, Perry and Cumberland counties with more out to the west thanks to this upper low moving its way eastbound. This big old swirl, we have colder air aloft with that and the potential at least with the sun getting out for maybe a rumble of thunder here locally. It does look a little gloomy. That is uh, Carlisle, not Harrisburg, but same story there in the capital city as well. We do expect some peaks of sun to boost that instability a bit this afternoon, watching out for some showers and a rumble or two with temperatures in the low to mid 50s through the overnight will fall back into the middle 30s to near 40 with the help of the breeze shouldn't have the fog with a few showers lingering early on. Then tomorrow, same story as this upper low makes it slow trek to the east. We'll have colder air aloft, so that may bode for a snow shower or two, especially in the higher terrain with temps in the middle 40s to near 50. Here's predictor. You can see that scattered activity through the bus ride on home from school, and that continues right through dinner time before starting to taper off as we lose that daytime driven instability. But then tomorrow, as the sun rises, we start to see that happening once again with a few more rain or snow showers across the valley into the afternoon. Now, in terms of the eclipse, this is the big story, of course, jumping forward to Monday and locales closer to us here in the valley along the line of totality, Cleveland, Erie, Buffalo, Syracuse, those spots going to be dealing with the potential at least for a bit more cloud cover. So that may inhibit the best views, but at least it's going to be mild with temperatures around 60. Something to keep tabs on if you're traveling. Now our News 8 Storm Team 10 day does feature a boost in our temps after this unsettled cooler stretch. We're back into the lower 50s Saturday. Still may have a stray shower. It will be blustery nearly 60 Sunday with more sunshine. Then the great eclipse is Monday. We'll have live coverage on that 70 on Tuesday. And we stay on the mild side of the spectrum ahead of a system that does bring a bit more rain there, Susan, Thursday and Friday of next week. All right, thank you. Well, the great eclipse hasn't happened.